When I first found out that I was allowed to come here, I didn't know what it was going to be like. Now I'm actually here, I absolutely love it. It's amazing. Everything that you would need, really, you would learn, like just being at Cannington. It's definitely changed my life and how I am with other people and stuff. I'm really glad I went there. They helped me get this job and I just wouldn't be here today. The 14 to 16 centre at Cannington provides a unique opportunity <laughs> for young people to achieve and to demonstrate what they're capable of. For a lot of the students who come in, this is the last chance for them. For me, it's about giving people a chance that otherwise they wouldn't have had. be able to have an opportunity to help them grow and develop their skills, not just as learners but as young people, in an alternative centre like the one out at Cannington is just hugely beneficial to us. In normal schools you'll find teachers that hate kids. You can't say there is one teacher at this place that hates kids because you'll sit there and you can have a laugh with every single one of them as if they were your mate. <laughs> a lot of these students need a more active curriculum. 60% of their time is actually spent doing. The rest of it is about recording those skills in a way that you can actually get a qualification at the end of it. It's that X factor whereby they genuinely like the kids. I think that's a, a massive factor. They want them to do well. They don't patronise them. At the same time, there are very clear limits. I wasn't at school a great student, and I believe that giving people another chance, that's why I came into the job, is it's about giving people another chance. I did get kicked out of two schools. I was quite hyperactive, always in trouble. It was since I went to the 14, 16 centre I was sort of starting to behave myself. What we try and do here is replicate things that happen in school but do them on a small scale where we can maximise their achievements, where they can improve their self-esteem and feel they've really made something. You've got a lot more opportunity here than within a regular college or any other school in, and that it is unique offers that you get. This is about hands-on learning, finding what makes them tick and what they enjoy and, and trying to incorporate the learning into that. I think the staff are just absolutely brilliant. They're wonderful with the kids. They're such a team and calm and kind is what they need. We do have lots of giggles and we have lots of fun and lots of drama a lot of the time as well. No. <laughs> They're going into my, the water's going into my eyes. We can tailor the lessons to them. Working one-to-one -one is what they actually need. Some will then progress on to working very independently. Some days they might need more. Sometimes they just need that little bit of a, a mental cuddle. It's not as chaotic as a normal school. It's like if you want to talk to one, one teacher, you only have to talk to one teacher. You won't have to wait and wait and wait. You get like, the time that you need. Kids come first, basically, and they talk to you how you speak to them. So it works both ways. They really helped me. They were understanding, listening to you, and they would just treat you like an adult. If I was still in normal schooling now, I wouldn't be anything like what I am now. I'd still be like what I used to be, which wasn't exactly the best. I'd probably be kicked out of school and doing nothing, doing absolutely nothing, just sitting at home, I guess. Uh, last year, every single one of the students who came to us, both on full and part-time programmes, which is around about 170 young people, have either gone to college or gained employment. If it wasn't for somewhere like this centre, then large numbers of students would not be moving on to college, would not be achieving in college, and would not be then contributing to society. It is really satisfying to watch a student who is very nervous, very self-conscious, very self-aware, go on and make something of their lives. It's definitely changed my life. This was my last option when it come down to school and it's the best option I've had from so far now. And I'm planning on keeping it. I'm really glad I went there. They've taught you sort of discipline, help you with sort of your money, help you with life skills, help you sort of talking to people. They helped me get this job and I just wouldn't be here today. You hate to give up on them, but it's not right for them and therefore you have to find somewhere where not just you can park them, but that where they can thrive. And I think that certainly for us this has been the most successful alternative provision for them and they, they really thrive.
investment in these young people now, reassuring them that they're worth something and that we do believe in them and we are willing to provide for them, I think is an investment in our future, not just for our immediate community, but for our country.